Okay, today I'm going to take you through the lasting process. What I'm going to do is with my thumb and forefinger, I'm going to hold the lining leather and pull it under. And now I'm going to switch and hold that lining leather with my middle finger, which leaves my thumb and forefingers free again. And now I'm going to go to the top leather, thumb and forefinger, making sure that it's centered, and pull it down tightly and hold it. Put a nail on either side, about an inch back from the tip of the toe, inch and a half maybe. Turn it over and make sure it's still centered. Next we're going to put two nails at both the medial and the lateral ball. I'm going to start with the medial and the direction of this pull is this way. I'm pulling this way. I'm not pulling towards the toe. I'm not pulling straight across. I'm pulling from the boot. If you could imagine that you put a nail right here in the center of the boot and into the last. You don't want to do that, but imagine if you did that, then you would have a wrinkle on this side and you'd have a wrinkle on the outside. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to pull all of the fullness completely to this side. We're trying to pull from the center line around and over the ball, just the fullness on the medial side. So you can kind of hold your hand under there and feel what's happening. Feels like I've gotten it pretty smooth. I'm going to put two tacks right there at the ball. And now I'm going to go over to the lateral side. And again, the direction of the pull is towards the boot. Two tacks. Now let's see what we've got. It looks good and my wingtip is still centered. Once I have the two nails of the ball on each side, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put one center nail right between the two at the ball and the toe. So just right in the center there. And once the, the ball area and the forepart is completely lasted, I'm going to go back and remove this nail at the heel. I'll grab the heel and just pull it up and over. So the side seam is now straight, the back of the boot is straight, and I know I've pulled the correct amount over the heel. And then I like to eyeball it and check that heel height and make sure that it's going to set level. It's time for the side seams. I start with the inside side seam, the medial side seam and put in two tacks right behind the side seam on the counter side. Same story other side. Now this is very important. I'm going to make sure that they match. I'm going to measure from the vamp and counter line down to where they fold under and I've got an inch and seven eighths on this side And I've got two on the lateral side, so I'm going to pull the lateral side a little harder. And now I'm ready for the fun part, which is the shank pullers. These are called shank pullers or bulldog pliers. I'm going to start on the medial side. And again, see how I've got my hand under here, feeling what's going on, making sure there's no wrinkles. Pull that snug. Put in a nail. Now once I get it down in the true shank area, I can start holding my bulldog pliers with my other hand. So that I can just put in a tack and hammer it down. And I'm going to put these as close to the outside edge of the insole as I can. They're about a quarter of an inch in from that insole edge under there. 
And the reason for that is later I'm going to be cementing this allowance down to the insole. So if I've nailed all the way out here at the edge, I can't get any glue under it without taking the nails out. And I want to be able to leave the nails in so that I have all that tension on there, peel this up, glue it to the insole, stick it back down, then I can safely take the tacks out and know that I've kept all of this tension here. And that's what I want to see. It's pulled down nice and tightly to the last, nice and snug, no wrinkles. Okay, Morgan and Paige are taking the inventory of all my last. Paige, start with the very, very first last. All right, it's GC 400, size 1D. You need to stop. 1D is short for One Direction, which is the greatest boy band in the world. One and a half D. <laughs> Since Zane's left the band, <laughs> it's only one and a half D. We're working our way up through the dimensions. Eventually, we'll get to 3D and have a real last. 4D is kind of ooh. another two and a half D. Two and a half D is like a pop-up picture book where it's technically paper flat, but it still comes up, comes out at you just a little bit. It's like almost 3D, but not quite. 4B, as in boy. Nah, how many boys are left in one direction? <laughs> that is not funny. Mom, I don't know if I can work with her. From someone listed in my contacts, no, from someone who signed off, like, Happy Valentine's Day, David. And I have, at that time, I had a classmate named David, and he was, ooh, he was so hot. He used to be an MMA fighter. He was, like, really, really in shape. He was, he had tattoos, he looked pretty tough, but he also wore glasses and was like really smart, like on my level smart, and we studied together. That's and smart, I don't uh -huh. like studying with people, because just do it yourself. But I studied with him, and then I get a Valentine's Day text message from someone named David. So I text back, that David, in my phone, I text him, and I say, thank you for the message, that was so sweet, like, little heart face, and he's like, what? I don't know. I don't know what you were talking about. It was David, our cousin David, my cousin David. He's like 50. He's like really, really old. He was the one and who your cousin? the Valentine's Day message. Not my classmate. Can we turn the camera off so we can actually get this done? No, the people need to know about my heartbreak. 7B. Last year I went to the Independent Shoemakers Conference in England and I had the opportunity to meet Jim McCormick. Jim is a master shoemaker and his finished work is amazingly beautiful. I was excited to meet Jim and of course I asked him the secret to his beautiful finish. I was hoping for something easy like a magical product or say a prayer to St. Crispin or walk in your shop backward, but the answer was time. He spends hours and days with ever finer sandpaper sanding by hand until the finish is like glass and all scratches have been removed. I decided with this pair of boots, I was going to try to achieve a beautiful finish. I spent a lot of time on these boots, especially on the heel. When I finished the heel and did the final polish, my first thought was, wow. That is the best heel that I've ever done. It's beautiful. And my second thought was, I bet next time I could do it even better. Guys, I have ruined my life.